All right, just the way the people knew is I'm not going through all the other stuff, okay? Uh, there's going to be some long videos, three of them roughly. Uh, just want to point out, this is our back into uh, Kirk, uh, K-U-R-T, update. Previous videos, I uh, went through the videos of his court case. The quicker version of this court case is on Legal Beagle, or yeah, Legal Beagle, okay? Capital L, B, uh, capital L. E G A L Beagle Capital B E A G L E S. Okay, he'd been fighting the court system in Seattle and making false claims and all this kind of stuff. And again, go back to my videos. I recorded everything, but it's in several different parts. But the clear version is Legal Beagle. And go to his for the clear version of his court on camera. Now, because it was on public, on YouTube, and all that kind of stuff, they decided to do this behind closed doors. Surprise, surprise. Behind closed doors is where tyranny begins, people. Just so you know. And to uh, get me off by saying, okay, well, make the payment, and it's going to be uh, logged in. And instead, <laughs> I file. All right. <laughs> Let's start from the beginning. Bringing up the perfect event to turn your vision into reality with eFavorMart, your one-stop party shop where you get more for less. Any event, every possibility. Oh my goodness, this YouTube and commercials nowadays is almost as bad as watching regular TV. Not having to worry about has had himself put in solitary confinement to protect himself because he's been threatened in jail. So, so they picked the jury without yeah. him. They picked the jury without him. They started the trial without him. Uh, they won't let him bring his own witness. Okay, so since he's pro se, we're going to stop here and I'm keeping everything at a minimum. They picked the attorney with, uh, attorneys without him. Okay. Uh, if I'm pro se, and when you have your attorney and you have uh, the other attorney, they both get to pick out the juries. Why is it when you're pro se you don't get to pick, help pick out their attorneys? Okay? That's jury tampering, people. Jury tampering. And I believe I'm gonna, when I get done with this, I'm going to write that down and tell these people to actually put that on document that due to him not being there in the present, about the jury, um, that's going to be jury tampering because he didn't, he was not present and helped pick out the jury. It's all 35 of them. I, I'm going to judge, uh, shut off WebEx. The excuse behind it was that it was a jury trial. I have two recordings from Kurt today. So, uh, okay. uh or no, two days ago. So yes. I'll, I'll try to throw them on there. So let's, we if we know, if we know people in Seattle, getting into the courtroom tomorrow, it's, it's room 1003 and it's okay. on the corner of James and 6th, the northeast corner. Easy to get to by light rail. It's two blocks up from Pioneer Station. Greetings and salutations. We have a communist Seattle update from, for you. Anastasia and Jason are here to tell us what is going on with. If anybody's in Seattle. A doubt on my YouTube. Uh, if you're in Seattle, if you have time, go check it out. Okay, rewind it, get the address and all that. Go to it. See what's going on. Hurt and all the legal battles we got going on. What? Hello, guys. Tell me. Tell me Hello. what's going on. Greetings. Greetings. I'm gonna leave it to Jason because he's been there every day okay. in court. So I'll bless, chime in. But I'm bless you, here. Jason. Bless you, Jason. Yes. All right. Well, a uh, little introduction. I am Jason. I'll be my name, Colbert. Uh, I live in North Seattle, not too far from Kurt, and he lived close to where I used to live when I first moved to Seattle. <clears throat> and I was introduced to Kurt probably about a year ago. Uh, when I first started getting involved with a civil rights group that was working with uh, wrongful ter wrongfully terminated uh, employees or, or you know, uh, people. Uh -huh. And I was introduced to him as an expert in pro se that was coming to help out with our group. And, you know, I didn't even know a lot about what our group was doing. Um, 
and didn't know a whole lot of what to ask him. But since then, I've learned a lot. And I did make uh, an effort at one point because I knew Kurt had been involved in the background with WCRC to uh, help with assisting people become, you know, his, his pro se expertise. And I decided, well, I have the time to help him with his effort. So I was doing process serving for him. Yeah. And I don't even remember how long ago that was. He, he, uh, he needed it. He did. Well, let me put it this way. I was asked to volunteer. Well, I volunteered, I should say. I was asked to help him. And I, you know, I figured, okay, I can do this. You know, I figured it'd be like a few, do- you know, a few complaints to serve, right? <laughs> uh, 17. <laughs> <laughs> so, so uh, I spent about a week doing this, and then I'm like, I talked to him, and I said, you know, I'm, I'm having a hard time because I have other things to do with my life, too. And so I spent like a week uh, driving around, mostly downtown Seattle, and it was actually really fun. Um, had some really interesting interactions with people. I'll share one of my favorites was uh, he served a judge, and so I had to cross the white picket fence, his front yard, pretty short. You know, walk up the stairs, knock on his door. He answered the door with his dog sitting next to him. Or fortunately, was a friendly dog. And let me put it this way. He's, like, really surprised. And he probably was wondering how Kirk got his address. <laughs> right. <laughs> just think of, even just in this little small incident, how powerful would that be to serve a judge, people? Just think about that for a minute while you were listening to this. How powerful would that make you feel? So, I handed him his documents, and he said, thank you. <laughs> I thought, hmm. <laughs> so, nice. anyway, um, I don't know what, I don't know what came up about. That was probably my favorite one of all of those that I did. Uh, so, that's why I got involved with Kurt, was process serving. And then, it was just three weeks ago. Uh, I know that a close friend of mine has a lot of interactions with him and talking pro se. And he hadn't heard from Kurt for a while. And we kind of joked about him being in jail. And sure enough, another person on the call looked it up and found that he was in jail. Yeah. And so we made immediate plans to go visit him in jail and found out he had been moved and that he had moved to downtown, uh, the King County Jail. and Or I think it's King County Jail. Yeah, it is King County Jail. Right. And he... At that time, then, he was then limited to one hour of visitation per week. So we squeezed it in um, and got in for that visitation and spent an hour with him. And the timing was uh, phenomenal because it was the start. The hearing was scheduled for the following Tuesday, so what, three, four days later. And so I'm trying to remember, we all talked about going. There were three of us that visited him in jail, and we all talked about going, and I ended up being the only one that could make it. So I showed up. Fortunately, I don't know what other groups he's involved with, but I can tell quite a few. And he had two other, it was at least two, it might have been three other people that showed up into court uh, that day. And so it was really quite nice to have some company in the courtroom getting to know them, we are you know, kind of a little bit hesitant and, to... And this was uh, the first one that we were able to uh, watch on Zoom, right? Because... No. no so, the- so WebEx, the effort was going to be to use, have WebEx as a uh, visual tool to watch him in court. Have you guys seen him in action? Yes, I, I, I oh. watched the, the ones that they, they allowed us to uh, get on WebEx on. I, I watched them. We, probably, we okay. published them all on YouTube here, so anybody can okay. go look at them. Okay, well, that'll be, that's, okay, good. Anyway, he, um, yeah, so no, this judge uh, shut off WebEx. The excuse behind it was that it was a jury trial. <laughs> So he's had no WebEx. So we kind of went in, got into, um, you know, problem solve mode. And I had the WCRC group that I was going to be sharing information with. And I've asked, I've asked uh, my friends, Dan and Larissa, I hope they don't mind me talking about them. (laughs) Uh, I hope uh, I asked them to, I'll, I'll do the reporting and basically taking notes through my text messaging and reporting to them and asking them to filter it. And then we've been, been put in touch with another one. So then 
two other people that were in the courtroom with me um, were put then, I could tell by the way Kurt greeted them that, okay, these are friends of his. So I befriended them and, you know, we made contact with each other. We got to know each other really well. And so they were then kind of contacting um, that other friend group of his. And so we were, uh, we eventually got put in touch with each other. So I have three people on a, on a text uh, on a text note taking system that I've been trying to share with, I will say the judge shut me down. Uh, they, she's very, I'm describing her as uh, select. She is subjective and selective in her application of the law, 100%. And so she's got a sign on the door and at the wall of the courthouse about no electronics and no cell phones and no recording, no gum, no this, no that. She lets anything go until she wants to use that law to stop something that she doesn't want to have happening. So there are lots of funny situations. One of them was I was right in a way, I was just standing in the middle of the, what I call the peanut gallery. So the gallery, and I was just standing there, not really thinking about it. And I was standing there after she got started with court and she said, sir. And I said, yeah. She said, what are you doing? I'm like, I'm standing here. <laughs> So she said, you need to sit down. And so, I don't know, a little later on, I decided I was taking a, taking a photo of the, uh, the peanut gallery to show who's where and who's doing what, just to get some visual to people. And then I decided I'll show my side of the gallery by doing a selfie. So I stuck my phone up in the air and, and uh, took a selfie. And she said something, excuse me, what are you doing? And I said, I'm taking a selfie. <laughs> and so she got to the point where, uh, she shut down my phone. So I have, uh, it's probably two days into the, it was probably about two days into the whole, uh, the whole hearing or trial actually that she cut off my way of texting and communicating during court. And How so was you and all that, I, I, I was reading that. Okay. What's that? I was reading that. You know, I, I had read all the posts you made. I didn't know who was doing it in court, but that now I know. Okay. Yeah. So my back, my background with court then is I've been there all every day. Uh, I missed, I missed a very important part actually because I had to come help my son, and so I missed the jury selection, where it, Kurt wasn't. I'm going to say, Gary, I, I didn't observe it myself, but Kurt wasn't there, and so they did jury selection. <laughs> without Kurt, there's a pro se or an attorney. I don't even. I, don't, I wasn't there. What's that? And it's not funny, but uh, you have to laugh. Uh, I don't. I don't know how. I don't know how it happened. I don't know how they can even allow that to happen. You know. Um. So, jury selection, and then they started the trial uh, without him, and he didn't know that they had started the trial. He, he eventually got back in the court, and we were able to interact with him a little bit. Um, from the peanut gallery over the um, divider into his his area, and he didn't even know that they had started, you know, court without him, with no 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 attorney, no pro se, no nothing. And he had no it's representation. Shocking. It's shocking. Yeah, and they're integrating the prime prime witness, and so there's so much to say about this. It's like, so if you have questions, let's go with this. I don't mean to just ramble. Well, no, uh, we were we were just looking to you to get get an update on what's going on, uh, and, and is all, all that. Uh, what happened today, for instance? Okay, uh, today today I went in thinking, okay, I know there's going to be a battle in the morning because they're having this battle over him carrying around two boxes of court documents, evidence, everything that he needs for representing himself. And he goes to his solitary confinement jail cell and he hauls these two boxes around. And I'll back up a little bit and say the second or third day um, that I had help um, with one of his friends and we, we put together an, a second box for him of 2,000 pages of documents. So... I decided what we had for dinner last week, so why don't you guys... To his solitary confinement jail cell, and he hauls these two boxes around, and I'll back up a little bit and say, 
the second and third day um, that I had help um, with one of his friends, and we we put together an, a second box for him of two thousand pages of documents. So uh, we delivered this. So now he's got to carry around two boxes, and the court let it go, or the jail let it go for until. Uh, it was probably Tuesday. I think it was Tuesday that. No, it was, it was through yesterday. Through yesterday, there the, the jail was letting him haul these two boxes around, and he would hand one to the the marshal, and the marshal would help him carry it, kind of thing. It was kind of funny. And um, the he would hand one to the marshal. So they're carrying these around, and eventually the jail said, "No, you can't take two boxes of, of documents back and forth." And so they had a big battle over this. So he's he's battling every single step of the way. So you yeah, probably see him in action. You see kind of how he operates. And he he doesn't back down. I, I'm so proud of him. He is standing very strong. I mean, unbelievably strong, but also making very um, smart steps in terms of his balance of pushing the edge where it's right. good and where it would be harmful to him. So I think he's finding a really sweet spot in terms of his balance. But he uh, so this these boxes were going back and forth and then the, the jail said no. So they left him, they left one of the boxes in the jail cell and there was a big should do about it that morning and getting him into court. And, and I'm going to say the judge coerces him. She, she offers, she says, if you want to be able to, to interview or cross or, or directly or cross cross examine the prime witness, you're going to need to behave. And it takes a while it takes a while, but it's total court. Total it's it's total 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 total. too. Yeah. Yes. Yes. And, and 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 I've noted it at least three times clearly, where um, she uses his you know interest in being in court to defend himself as a tool to get him to behave. And uh, so that leads me to talking more about the boxes and last night. So he. I want to say he finished up uh, his his cross examination of second witness. That was I'm going to name names here. Uh, that was Officer Hughes, I believe. So police officer, and he he cross examined him, and then after that, uh, it, it it started getting heavy. And I'm going to say Kurt had he. That's the most vocally emotional. I'll say I won't say yelling but definitely projecting and like putting his foot down in terms of calling, you know, saying the judge is bullying him and saying that he won't be bullied. And, you that know, is what's yeah. happening and, it's, and it is personal. What, he is, he has not said anything incorrectly the whole time. There is so, it's so deep in terms of, I'm going to say the lying and deception on the other side, uh, manipulation of the record. Yeah. Um, what, what does he call it? Revisionist history, revision of the record. It's, it's unbelievable what's going on, even with the record. So getting a straight record, that's one reason it's important for us to be there. So as much as we can. Right. So, so then he's this whole, this whole bullying me and, you know, I won't be bullied conversations about the boxes. It's about, she's telling him tomorrow we, we were lucky you were lucky that you got the second box today oh. but tomorrow you're not going to be able to bring two boxes she's telling him you and he's saying you're telling me what i'm what i can do and then she later on in that same that same exchange she said i'm entering into the record that i've advised uh, mr benshu not to bring the box. oh he said you're offering me advice legal advice and people do bring that up. Are you offering legal advice is a big no no. So when they do these things, call it out. Bam, bam, bam. He just nails every little thing so clearly, so articulately. So um, the legal advice, she's offering, she's offered legal advice at least three or four times, and he calls her out on it. And, uh, so he, I could tell that this morning was going to be a battle. This is the long story, by the way. <laughs> sure. Yeah. That, that, that's what we're here for. It's all a long story. Yeah. Um, so I could tell the battle was going to be about the boxes in the morning. 
and you weren't going to be able, no one was going to be able to tell exactly when court was going to start. And then I kind of got the sense that uh, they were talking about witness interviews, uh, his witness interviews for today, because the judge had told him, well, he gets to, he gets to enter, you know, directly examine some witnesses that he's called. They've denied him like 35 witnesses, all call, calling them all irrelevant. And I, they use that term a lot, irrelevant, to describe anything Kurtz wants to do. It doesn't matter. It's irrelevant to what we're doing here. You know? Well, no, it's and, clearly. Yeah, yeah. It's irrelevant to the kangaroo court. Right, That's, right. It, okay, I can go on. So the other thing she likes to do is press the term forward. We need to move forward. We need to move forward. There's no, you don't get time because this case needs to be taken care of right now. And I'll give as much time to the, I'm calling her assistant city count or city attorney. She gets as much time, the minutia of all kinds of details. She'll cut Kurt off. The, the judge will cut Kurt off all the time saying, no, we need to move on. We got to move this thing forward. So the moving in forward, um, what was the other thing I was saying? Okay. So, um, sorry, lost my train of thought. Brings a whole new meaning to We're talking about the court, boxes and being bullied. And so, oh, I, I remember that it was, so you're asking about today. This is the long story of today. And then today was, uh, the, I knew this would be Battle of the Boxes, and we thought we'd maybe get to the jury, or he'd get some cross-examined, some of his witnesses. <coughs> he called me to the stand. She's like, no. Because <laughs> I actually had a, I had a fresh new document. Um, it looks like you're frozen up there. Oh. Um, oh, there I you are. Yeah, froze for a second. I, I might have um, just been being still. <laughs> okay, that's pretty still. Uh, anyway, um, sorry, this is my train of thought again. The oh, so the cross, the it's calling his witness. So she, so she says he can call witnesses, and she has said that you will get. She essentially said, um, especially of the the star witness, and then Officer Hughes, you will get to directly examine them. Not just cross witness them, but directly examine them. And she's reneged on that twice. The first time she reneged on it, um, I think he was hesitant to trust and believe her and kind of not push it. But then she did it again. And so she basically has allowed him uh, mm -hmm. no direct uh, examination of any witnesses that he has called, other than the fun one today was himself. So, so will, before you go into that, Jason, what yeah. is the name of the judge? Uh, her name is Judge Andrea Chin, Court judge 1003, so 1003, the Seattle Municipal Court. Uh, we have information to contact the, the city administrator to be able to reach the presiding judge about what is being uh, done in now, sit and think about this, right? If we actually had a true justice system, they would, it would be judges, not miscible judges. Okay? Or when they say miscible judge, it's actually a magistrate. So it's a magistrate.